I think that tonight, the third goal, you saw the best goal of the year. I think so. We will talk about that at the end of the season, but uh, how we built and, and uh, the finishing, it was very good. So I'm very proud of my, uh, of my players. Maybe some of you, you are surprised, but uh, me, I know, and I, I said since the beginning, with this team, if we can keep 80 or 90% of this team, for, for sure next season we will play to be champion. Coach, I would say that I am one of those people who were surprised by the quality of play that was there. But the most surprising thing for me was that in the final third, the final 10, 5 minutes, police came at you and there was no response. Was you know, it? you know, it was 3-0, my friend. So they, they can play two hours like that with crosses. <laughs> it's not a problem, you know. We have decided at the beginning of, of the second half to try to score a third one, even a fourth one. But uh, at 10-15 uh, uh, minutes to the end, I asked my players just to, to stay uh, to stay in position, not to keep the ball. Because all, all the game, police just... Uh, and I was really surprised the way they, they played. Because two weeks ago, they tried to play football. And today, they just uh, used long ball, long ball, long ball. So it was, uh, it was even easy to defend for us. Coach, you've always cried to the fans, you've always talked to the fans, you've always told them, please come, support this team, you're in problems, you don't have money, you are the people to save us. What role have they played? I, I said that from the beginning. And you know, regarding poor performance like, like, like today, like today, I, I think that we, we should have uh, two or three more times the, the crowd that we, we have because we produce a good football, we score goals. So I, I hope it will be like that until the end of the season. But you know, uh, now, as I said, it's seven, uh, seven uh, team last game. We were only uh, beaten one time. And now the target will be to be unbeaten until the end of the season. What, what kind of impact has Makwata and Nakaya brought in terms of experience and maybe ah, well, changing you, play? You, you, you saw it in, in terms of experience. It's as strikers who are able to play football to keep the ball and, and after in the box they are clinical so it's, it's really important if you remember all the games we play at the beginning of the season we had all the time a lot of opportunities but we missed these opportunities so so the, now we have players a little bit more clinical and uh, uh, surrounding by these uh, players I'm sure that Kingsley Maxwell will improve day after day Coach, did you uh, speak to the two players, Dante and uh, Marvin? I will not talk anymore about players who, who let us down. Coach, what did you make of Lewis Bandis' performance? Sorry? What did you make of Lewis Bandis' performance on the left today? You know, we know that Lewis can play on the left, can play on the right, and he made an, an amazing performance uh, today. So it gives me uh, more option. And don't forget also the job of uh, Tiongo, who made a very good uh, performance. And Tiongo is not a, is not a real full, full, fullback. So, so I'm happy. And then, you know, in the middle, we play with two olders, uh, Giovanni and, uh, and uh, Brian. La last year, they even didn't train with us. Yeah. Uh, taking this first appearance of the season at the back, maybe what do you think of Who? Yes, but you know, uh, it was now almost one year he didn't play, so I'm happy for him because uh, training is training, but a, a game and a game of his intensity is totally di di different. So it gives me one more option, and I'm very happy uh, of his uh, performance as well. Next match is Yes.